Good morning, Walter. Um, I had an anxiety attack this morning, so I came out here and just decided to set up the angle of the bore and um, so forth and so on and set my tent in indicator up on the cross slide and get the angle of the, um, uh, of the compound at 8 degrees and all that went so darn smooth that I just couldn't wait. I know I I have the the grinding uh, bits coming from McMaster probably tomorrow. I, I ordered last night so they'll probably be on a truck today but I just couldn't wait so um, I had a, I had a couple of stones one of which looked like it would work fine which I had dressed up yesterday so um, anyway I'm gonna put a short video together and um, I'm just I'll get another shot of this from from another angle but I'm gonna run I've taken off about I don't know maybe one thousandth uh, so far and I it, it I mean it cleaned up right away with just a few tents so um, I'm thinking that uh, I can't do much more but I'm taking off two tents a pass and I'm shining a light down the board to see where the end is and um, so anyway it's going along just as smooth as glass so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a shot um, grinding the bore um, from this direction and then I'll, I'll move the camera and show you the setup in the other direction but you've already seen it and at the beginning of this video I, if I post it on YouTube I'll add some photos at the beginning to show some of the um, initial things that I did um, to get the stones trued up and to do a few things like that so also the bracket um, that I made very simple bracket just a piece of flat bar stock took me I don't know it probably took a half hour I had to drill it and um, tap it for the pencil grinder and also I had to um, uh, mill a little bit off top and bottom of the bar to um, so it centers up in the in the tool post holder Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna run this through here one one shot, take off two tenths or three tenths or something. It seems to creep just a little bit, but it's hard to tell. The tenth ind indicator is really really sensitive, but it does work really well. So that that part's no problem. Let me uh, let me zoom in on things here, and we'll get going. I don't want to make this long. It doesn't take long to make a pass. I'm hand feeding very slow. I'm, I, I just left the, the Dremel set at, um, at um, 10,000 RPMs and I'm running the spindle at about 100. So it seems to work. Um, the, the bore looks nice and shiny and clean so um, I have no complaints thus far. So here we go. My arm might be in the way here a little bit. I don't know. I gotta turn the Dremel off and on. And I'm gonna back the cross slide out uh, two tenths.
good to end. I don't think the collet goes all the way up in there anyway. Just back it out slowly. Don't need the light anymore. the Dremel, shut off the lathe. The, uh, the bore looks beautiful. I, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's, uh, it's very shiny and smooth. Looks great. And um, so I've, I'm not going to take any more off. Um, there's plenty of room on the collet so that's not a problem but I'm, I'm going to leave it set right there and call it call it quits and we'll we'll test the call it and see how it works anyway I wanted to show that on the video and uh, I'm gonna shut the camera for a second and just move the the camera around around here to the front and just do a quick uh, a quick shot of what's going on from from another angle so I'm gonna shut shut the camera off okay Here's a shot from a, from a different angle. Um, don't know what you can see. I can't zoom out any further, actually. I guess I ha I'd have to move the camera back. But rather than do that, I'll just pan around. Uh, you can see. Uh, let, let's. Uh, you can see the um, the uh, the tenth indicator in the background. The stone. The pencil grinder. That's a Dremel, um, that just came with the kit. I, this is the first time I ever used it. I, I've used the Dremel tool, a motor a lot, but I've never actually used the, the, um, the flex shaft, I guess is what the right terminology would be. And um, I've got the, I've got the uh, compound set at 8 degrees. I checked it three different ways. I checked it with the DTI, I checked it with some uh, precision ground angles pieces and also I checked it with the protractor so everything agreed to it was eight degrees so um, I think I'm good um, the stone seemed to the grinding bit seemed to go into the bore smoothly all the way there was no uh, the setup seemed perfect so I think I think I was good uh, hopefully hopefully it's more concentric now and we've solved the problem if this works for this chuck, um, the one chuck that has the flange on it that I really want to be able to use, that one should be a piece of cake. So I'll, if this if this works, I'll set the other one up and we'll we'll uh, we'll go. But this even if this doesn't isn't perfect, um, I, the the process seems to work beautifully. So I'll work with this process until I get it right, if if need be. Um, let me let me just zoom around. I think you can see the whole setup though. So in the background you can see um, Well, maybe I don't know up there. I, I hung the Dremel tool up there It's attached to the flex shaft. You can see that and and then it just Just winds around and back into the bracket the bracket was just a piece of, of um, mild steel and um, very simple and I'll, sh I'll put I'll post some photographs with it with this uh, video so you can see that and the grinding stone is one that I had in my box um, and I dressed it with a diamond um, a diamond point um, I don't know if I can put it in front of the camera probably not but I have a diamond point uh, here that I was able to to dress the stone and um, I thought I was going to have to figure out a way to dress the stone um, you know in the grinding process but I didn't it it it, it and I, it, I think it's a fairly fine stone because I had some other ones that were seemed to be rougher than this so um, 
maybe the ones I ordered from McMaster would have been better. Um, and if that's the case, then we'll see. Maybe we'll run. I have some 120s, 120 grit coming. So we'll see. How, maybe maybe I might want to use one of those to um, to uh, you know make the finish better. But it looks pretty good right now. So there you go. And you can see the the tenth indicator in the background. And um, so. It, it, it's I, I took off a, about two tenths per pass so I didn't even try to take off a lot because the process goes so fast that it, it, it doesn't it doesn't make any difference why push it right so anyway work beautiful I'm happy with it th thus far so I'll post this video up there where you can take a look at it and see what you think um, I jumped the gun here because I wasn't planning on doing this until um, <laughs> tomorrow or the next day for sure probably so I got it done a little bit early and seemed to work really well so I'll call off now and and post this video